there, Dr. Sheeper. Welcome back to our Teacher Out Talks, episode 182, I believe. I'm your host, Dr. Sheep. Joined by co host, and I'm Phil. Uh, that's me. There's you. All right. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Well, how was your first day back to work? Fine. A little busy. You were busy? Yeah. Were you just having to get caught back up? or What What made it busier than normal? Because I can tell you what made my day busier than normal. And I don't think it had to deal with anything with the vacation. So I'm just curious what made yours busier. Uh, getting caught back up. Hmm. So like, we have like, we have like things we have to get done by the end of the month, hmm. right? Well, stuff keeps coming in throughout the month, and so when someone takes a week off, like I did, it kind of sets everything behind. You know, you're you have to kind of get back caught up on pace so you get all the things that need to be done by the end of the month. Okay. So at the end of the month, coming close, you know it. Uh, <laughs> Makes it a little difficult, but it'll be all right. Okay. Yeah, because like today, I didn't check the transaction logs. I'm sure I had the most, now that I think about it. I I just had a lot of customers. Like, after I got through my 86 damn emails. <laughs> uh, not, that... I get that in a day. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, your manager uh, said well, you... Well, I should say I used to. I used to. Uh, and then I got taken off a whole bunch of the e email list because they're all just BS that I don't want. Ah. Uh, of, of the, like, hundred some odd emails I get a day, only about one or two a week actually pertain to me. Oh, boy. So what did you end up... So how many emails... It's, did you... all, just, it's all just BS that's just... Uh, either for the whole department or the inner company, and, and it's like, you know, half of this I don't care about. It doesn't really affect me. And so, I, yeah. So how many emails did you have then when you got back? I, I didn't even open it because I didn't want to know. Oh. Oh. See. I, I'm going to open up my emails tomorrow. I, I got back and I was like, you know, I, I don't feel like looking at this. I don't really want to know. I'm sure if anything actually pertained to me, my boss will come and let me know. Because that's usually how it goes. You know, I get an email. And then if it actually matters, he'll actually verbally tell me about it. So then it's like, what's the point of the email? So I just didn't bother to open up any of them. Yeah, so... We, uh... Uh, my of my eighty six emails, I say at least fifty percent I need to read, at least. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because, well, okay. So a lot of it's some uh, a few. So about since I was gone, how many working days? Friday. I was gone six working days, so at least, at least six of them were reports. Mm -hmm. That I I didn't buy I don't buy I didn't bother to read them because it's six days ago, it was eight days ago on the last on the on the on the uh, late on the last one, so it's like it does not matter at this point. Uh, although I opened some other emails and I did read through them just as a curiosity. I was like, oh, what caused what what caused this issue? And I was like, okay, well, all right. Well, hopefully it got taken care of. I just delete the email. Yep. No. Yep. Shit. <laughs> yep. This shit was a hopefully, week. Hopefully the, yep. hopefully the problem is taken care of because it's not my problem. This shit was a week old. A week old. And I open up, I get my latest report in for those versions. 
and the shit was still on it. And I'm like, motherfucker, they didn't did they didn't do it. It's like I don't know if it's because my boss just is used to me doing it, and so, or she's just used to, you know, her workers just seeing that oh this needs to be done and doing it. I, I have no idea, but it wasn't freaking done, and so I was like Jesus Christ. So I just went, I went and did them, and and I would look at my coworker and be like, did you know about this? And they're like, oh yeah. And I'm like, why didn't you do something? She's like, oh. Just nothing had nothing to say. I'm just like this is dumb. And the other one, I'm like, it wasn't her fault. She doesn't know how to market the correct way to do this. And I also don't think she knew you had to do it. But why she just ignored the report, couldn't tell you. So I was glad I opened that report because shit didn't get done. So I was like, oh, I'm I'm back for like. Two hours, and I'm already having to get fixed crap that wasn't done when I was gone. I'm not, like even, I yeah. I'm not even a manager, and I have to fix crap. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. And it was the funniest shit, because I, the mail carrier came in to get her inner office mail. Mm-hmm. And my boss was in the was in that office where she picked up the mail, and she made a joke like, "Yeah, see, I, it's taken care of today." And I'm like, "That tells me that mul at least once during the time I was gone, it didn't get taken care of." And she went to pick up the bags, noticed they hadn't been uh, the sign hadn't been flipped to the branch that it was supposed to get sent to, and so you know she's like, "Hey, can you guys open this and take a look because they're they're keyed shut bags." And it's just like, really? I knew it. I knew when I left. I'm like, this isn't going to get done. There's another thing. Yeah. Uh, we we send our rate sheet to another bank because they like to do the competition thing. And I told, I told the other full-timer many times. I was like, Tuesday, please send this in. I fucking didn't care. I was on vacation. I kind of forgot about it. I get back. I was just curious. I look at her, I'm like, did you send the rate sheet? She's like, what? And I'm like, did you send the rate sheet? She went and looked and went, no. And she's like, do I need to send it now? And I'm like, "It. we get a new one tomorrow. I'm like, no. At this point, it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah. I was just like, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. So freaking stupid. But, oh well. well. I will say, it, it, for me, it, it definitely went down, though. Because when I was in the battery shop, I'd get emails for freaking everything. Like, any time a unit got sent out, received, or whatever, it's like stuff I didn't even touch. I'd get an email about. Just everything. And it's just like, none of this pertains to me. But they want to make sure everyone's informed, you know? And it's like, but... Now that I don't get, now that I'm not on the email list, uh, it's gone way down mm-hmm. because the the communication is not that intense. Okay. But it, but it's still sufficient enough. Fair. No, so but then I was just busy in general. Part of it was one of the part timers. Uh, the, the, the full timer, I should say. After she, she, you know, it's nice about this. When I get there, she will literally do everything, all the transactions until, uh, until she notices that I'm done working on either emails, scanning stuff, or doing a variety of my normal morning tasks. And so, when she notices that I'm done with that, she stops working. And we'll do nothing then. And then I just get... What do you mean by nothing? Like just pull out her phone and yep. sit down? Or what do you mean? Yep. Really? Yep. And since... See, and, and, and because her station is at the very end, she will just sit there huddled below the thing so no, no, no customers can see them. I can be seen from the drive. I can be seen straight from the door. I, I'm smack dab in the middle of the branch and I'm just like, great. Which is... 
granted, that's the the way that's the way it's always been, ever since I started. But it's just annoying. So I have to do all this shit. Oh, and then I had to make a million phone calls today. And I also, I asked her, and she was like, oh, I, I did most of your CD list. I'm like, what do you mean most? When was the last, what was the last one you did? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? How do you, I'm like, how do you not keep track? You have a list. You have a list. You know when I'm coming back. Okay? Here's all the people on the list that I was told to take care of. Okay? All you have to do is when that date comes up on there, call the goddamn customer and tell them you have a CD coming due. That's all you have to do. It's not rocket science. It's not hard. Wait, is that what they're supposed to do? Because they didn't call me when my CD was up. Uh, well, well wait, our wait, branch, wait, our how branch... How early do you call? Huh? How early do you call? About 9 a.m. No, well, no, 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 no. I mean, like, how early in terms of like a week before the maturity date, a month before so, the maturity date. So, so uh, I call the mature. So I used to call ahead of the maturity date, but then I got lazy, and also it was just kind of a pain in the ass. So I usually just call on the maturity date, or if yeah, the, if maybe the, that's one. Or if the maturity Cause, date. Because I, because I went in, uh, like three days, like three or four days before the maturity date. Yeah, they can't do anything if you do that. What? Well, no, 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 but, like, I, well, I had to go there to do something else. And then uh, the banker told me, you know, that, that uh, I told them what I wanted to do with it. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah I can do that. Um, and But they have to wait till the maturity date. But, you know, I was like, I didn't want to go back in there and have to call the bank, you know. So, they're, so they just wrote a little note to themselves. On how I wanted the money to proceed once the maturity date occurred. They didn't make you sign I, anything? I, I, because I thought they could do that. I thought they could just put it in their system, like, "Oh, okay, when on this date, do this." You know. Well, and did, like, did oh, you? No, no, no. We, what? Did, 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 you didn't have to sign anything. Well, I, I didn't. I uh, I might have. No, I did. I, I did. But she didn't. But she didn't sign her in until it happened. Oh. Basically, I, I signed it early. Oh. See, we can't really do that because we have to get the final withdrawal amount. And yeah. so we don't know what that final amount is until the CD comes due. I guess I could always model it, but eh. So, you, you know, you just wait. Yeah, no, I, I, I signed it early, and then she said she'll sign it on the day. Yeah, so no, I I waited so I always just make customers wait. Mm. Is it, do you guys have a one week grace period? Uh, or uh, you have the maturity weeks? date plus ten calendar days. Yeah, that might be. That might be what it was. Ten, ten, wait, ten calendar days or ten business days? Ten calendar days. Oh really? Cause I think ours was ten. I want to say it was ten business days. Ten business days That's is good. a long fucking time. That's like two weeks. Or yeah, longer. That's what I said, two weeks. What? That's that's a yeah, long fucking weeks. time. That's like two weeks or more. Well, that's what I thought about. I don't. I couldn't remember. Because every single two, every single Saturday and Sunday is a non-processing day, so therefore not a business day. And if you have any federal holidays in there, that's a non-business day. Even if the bank's open, like Juneteenth, my bank is open, but the Federal Reserve is closed, therefore not a business day. Because the customer will call and be like, where are my checks? I said, 10 business days, ma'am. It had been seven business days. But it had been like a week and a half or more at that point. And I'm like, you got to wait. You got to wait. Yeah. But, uh, no. Uh, well, I don't, yeah. We, I guess we probably could do it early, but we, we just docu-sign. You just tell the customer, hey, watch your email when the day comes. Or if the customer doesn't do email, then we just mail it to them and then we just do it for them without yeah. a signature. Which, yeah, whatever. You don't like to do it too often, but 
sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Those old ladies, you know, they're like, I'm 95 years old. No, and it really, it, we only call, like, certain branches call, and then, like, you're only supposed to call, like, certain customers, you know, the, the regulars, the ones with lots of money. I call everybody, just because, why the fuck not? Because it's like, what's the difference between a 25, they're, like, like, the average amount, I'd say, is between 10 and $25,000. I'm like, I would call literally zero people if I only reserved for large amounts. Because it's like, is, is 25000 a large amount? No. For me. I. To me, 25000 Well, I mean, to amount. you or I, it's a lot. But, like, that in the a, banking that, world, that, it's that like. Would be a nice, that would be a nice little paycheck. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, to you or I, 25000 is, pff, that's a whole year's sa uh, salary after tax. But it's just like. Not quite a year, but yeah. But it's just like, is it really? I don't know. <laughs> you just think to yourself, is it really? 